Hey everyone, Professor Fry here. Uh, today we're going to do a tutorial on building a digital sheet music library. This is going to be very important this semester because we're going to be doing a lot less sharing of your binders back and forth. Um, I'm going to have everyone build a digital sheet music library and then send me the PDFs for use on my tablet. Um, first, you need to acquire clean copies of your PDFs. You can be scanning uh, these PDFs from the library. Take your time and make sure they look nice. We'll go over that in a little bit, what, what making a PDF look nice means. Uh, but you can get a lot of your music for the semester from the library and do it via scanning it. Um, you can acquire PDFs sometimes from free sheet music online websites like imslp.org, uh, which is mainly for classical music. And there's, a, there's several other websites where you can get free sheet music. If you can't find it in the library or from one of those sites, you can purchase PDFs from websites like musicnotes.com, which is very, very good for pop music. Not as good for musical theater, but very good for pop music. Um, Sheet Music Plus and places like Scribd. Um, so those are the places you can find sheet music. If you can't find your music anywhere else, you can shoot me an email. I have a fairly extensive uh, digital music library and I may have your music. So if you exhaust your other resources, send me a request for your PDFs. Let's look at some examples of good and bad copies of, of sheet music as a PDF. Here are a couple of what I consider to be bad copies of sheet music for a PDF. This is Whither Must I Wander, Ray Fon Williams. Uh, the reasons I don't like this is because there is that kind of black border of a, a poor scanning or photocopy of the music. Also, there's, there's some, I don't know, poor scan moments there. There's also several things that are circled, so this is not what I would consider to be a clean copy of music. Uh, here's another example. You make my dreams come true, Hall and Oates. Uh, for some reason, the PDF is yellow. We don't want that. Um, and there's also just lots of little rhythmic markings everywhere. So neither of those are clean copies. Here's one more. It's a, it's a poor scan and everything is off center. So these are not uh, what we are going for when it comes to making clean copies of music. Uh, and here's just one more example. Here's the beauty is from the light in the piazza. It actually looks pretty nice. There's there's nothing on the outsides or anything like that, but this scan is a little bit fuzzy, uh, so it's just a little bit more difficult to read. Um, just to contrast that, let's look at a copy of the beauty is that is a little darker. Okay. We can just see that the you can read the text better and that the notes are less fuzzy. Okay, uh, so here are a couple other examples of what I consider to be good, clean copies of PDFs. Here's una furtiva lagrima. Okay, the printing is very dark. There's nothing around the border like like uh, poor scan markings. Um, there are no other markings in the music. Nothing is circled. There's not no translations or anything like that. This is a good base for your PDFs. We can build off of this. It's hard to build off of copies that are not clean. Let's look at just two more. Stendchen by Schubert. Uh, I think I pulled this off of IMSLP. So those are that's one of those free uh, sheet music websites. And so this looks very nice. Once again, nothing along the border, no additional markings that someone else has written in already. And finally, let's look at this copy of Jolene by Dolly Parton. Uh, this is, again, music notes, really good for pop music. Not great for musical theater, but very good for, for pop music. And uh, music notes will always ask you, do you want to pay an extra two dollars for the pdf you want to do that you're, you're going to want to have the pdf of the of the sheet music you purchased you just don't want one print um, so this looks really nice and this is a good starting place for when you acquire your pdfs so 
Once you have acquired your clean PDFs, you'll want to organize them. Uh, I have a folder here called Digital Musical Library. Digital Music Library. You can title it anything you want. Just make it clear for yourself. Um, and right here I have Fall 2020. So that can be your semester repertoire. Click on that. Oh, and look at this beautifully diverse group of music that I gave myself for the semester. Um, when you title your PDFs, this is very important because you're going to be sharing this music with pianists and coaches, and it, it is not their job to organize your music. It is your job. So let's make sure that we title our PDFs by song title and show, or if it's not from a show, song title and composer. And here are these examples, Jolene by Dolly Parton, Stenchen by Schubert, The Beauty Is from The Light in the Piazza, and so on and so forth. So that's the way that we're going to want to see your PDFs organized. Uh, after fall 2020, all of this repertoire can go into another folder, maybe called something like Comprehensive Repertoire. So you are building uh, a digital music library of all of the music that you sing. Um, once you have all of this saved and organized, this can easily be sent either to yourself on your tablet, if you use something like that for lessons, or it can be sent to your accompanists to print, uh, or to your coach, me, to put on my um, iPad to use for your lessons. You can really just drag them all into your email and send them over.